the Airbus A220 is a passenger favorite, with massive windows, great space, and a quiet cabin. And while the design is modern, Airbus is already thinking of ways to make the airliner better. In fact, Airbus recently announced a lot of new upgrades to be added to the next generation of A220s produced soon. In this video, we'll explore the exciting new changes and upgrades the A220 will launch with in 2026. While the NEO designator in Airbus aircraft indicates a new engine option, this upgrade will deal more with the interior than the exterior of the aircraft. And although the A220 is already fitted with modern engines, Airbus did not design the interior of the airplane. In fact, the A220 was a model designed and originally produced by Canadian manufacturer Bombardier, before being acquired by Airbus and then being renamed to the A220. This interaction means that there are components of the A220 that do not match Airbus's modern design philosophy. Airbus will not actually name this redesign in NEO, as this only applies to engine overhauls, but will refer to the recent upgrades as a refresh. This refresh will center around Airbus's modern airspace cabin design. Before I explain the incredible new design improvements, please do consider subscribing to my channel. I am posting twice weekly long form aviation videos and twice daily shorts. If you want to listen in to future videos and have enjoyed this video thus far, hitting the like and subscribe button goes a long way. As I mentioned earlier, Airbus did not design the A220 interior. This means that while the A220 interior is nice, it is not the same as the rest of modern Airbus models. Upgrades like larger overhead bins and ambient lighting have not yet been integrated into the A220 lineup, at least not in the signature Airbus airspace manner. The main airspace upgrades will include the addition of Airspace XL to hold more luggage in the overhead bins. These bins are 20% lighter and can carry about 15% more luggage than previous generation bins. These will be added to A220 models beginning in 2026. The other main aspect of the upgrade includes Airbus's airspace lighting system. This ambient lighting system is in use with the A320 and A330neo and adds to the general aesthetic of the interior. It also boasts supposed benefits in aiding with circadian rhythm, including an ability to cut jet lag significantly. For the length of flights that the A220 will fly, I'm not sure that this is much of an issue, but still, it is a nice feature. While there are more elements from the airspace cabin that will be added to the A220, they are relatively small and unnoticeable. This choice by Airbus is clearly also a statement of product commonality, ensuring customers have the same interior experience across all Airbus products. There is also another aspect of this refresh that is exclusive to the larger Dash 300 variant. Airbus is supposedly seeking approval to seat up to 160 passengers in a Dash 300 layout, as the current maximum is 149 for most airlines. This will be increased to 160 once an additional overwing exit is certified by major regulators. This layout increase is also expected to launch alongside the airspace cabin sometime in 2026 or 2027. Do you think this upgrade will make the A220 considerably better? I honestly didn't think there was a need to make the already great aircraft any better, but Airbus definitely disagrees. Have you flown on the A220 before? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and will consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Also, if you're here in the first week after upload, consider hitting the hype button as well. All your support is very much appreciated and allows more videos like this one to be published. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next.